Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. So today's pick a card I'm really, really excited about. I have wanted to get it done for a little while, but I wanted to wait until the energies really aligned and I just was waiting until I had kind of had the green light or the get going. I've had that today, which I'm really excited about because I am bringing through messages from the goddess Rhiannon. She is a Welsh goddess and as you guys know your girl is from Wales and I've been really connecting to my ancestry there and just going up through my lineage and just connecting to where I'm from, the lands of where I'm from and through that it's been incredibly healing but I've been connecting to you know a lot of deities and beings and entities that have just been coming through to me and ancestors that have been coming through to me and it's just been really really beautiful and one goddess that I've really just connected to so deeply and and been working with is goddess Rhiannon and I'm not going to go too deep into her story because I feel like I'd rather you guys look at that in your own time and relate to it in a way that you see fit but I have links that I'm going to have in the comment section and the description box for you guys to really research about goddess Rhiannon and her story because it's so beautiful and it's really really helped me overcome things in my life so I really just wanted to bring that you know her wisdom through and you know connect with her today to, to bring wisdom through to you guys and hopefully if you guys enjoy this I can bring more Welsh wisdom through and um connect to more energies there so let me know um but yeah we're just going to be bringing through any guidance um that needs to come through today from Rhiannon so I have three crystals um in front of you guys to choose from um well they're not three crystals one of them is a stone but we've got the stone here from the witch the witch the welsh beach itself um so we have that here and then number two we have the rose quartz and pile number three we have the bumblebee jasper so see which crystal or stone you are drawn to the timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual and i will see you guys at your timestamp hey pal one welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what messages goddess rhiannon has for you today apologies for the wind it's very windy here in wales right now there's a little bit of a storm um so apologies if that interferes at any point uh, but yeah, I'm going to start with tarot and then we'll move into your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number one, can you please tap me into the collective of my pile number one? What guidance does Goddess Rhiannon have for my pile number one? Spirit guides, tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. What guidance is coming through from Goddess Rhiannon for my pile number ones? I'm here in safe space and you guys setting up. It, it's almost like I'm doing little things to make me feel physically safe and to make myself show up and be present in everyday life. There's almost this feeling of like, maybe through childhood, you would have taught yourself in order to feel safe was to disconnect, maybe disassociate or detach or daydream. Um, and it was almost like from that, there was almost like a dismantling of the root chakra because it's almost like I don't feel physically safe in my everyday environment. And I feel like as as you've got older, there's almost this feeling of like not fully showing up to be present, feeling the need to maybe disassociate or it's like I'm constantly listening to music because I'm somewhere else. I don't want to physically show up here. And there's a really strong reference from Rhiannon in making sure that you feel safe wherever you're at or doing little things to bring you into the present and really ground you into the present and make you feel safe wherever you go. So I think that's where the reading's going to go. I'm going to pull cards and obviously we're going to go deeper, but that there's a reference of whether it's energetically creating that safe space before you walk out of your home. Um, or, you know, when you're going to work and places like that, public transport, it's like I have something on me that's making me feel safe or I'm showing up and, and being present. There's there's almost a feeling of Goddess Jan and almost like pushing you to do that, to really show up because there's a reference of wanting you to enjoy life and your physical reality and, and feel safe. Um, 
so we'll see what comes through so pile number one please for guides um tap me into the collective of my pile number ones what guidance does goddess rihanna have for my pile number ones yeah four of wands we have the four of wands pile number one what guidance does rihanna have for my pile number ones we have the nine of pentacles what guidance we have the six of swords what guidance does Rhiannon have in my pile ones and the six of cups the hermit's at the back of the deck as well okay okay very much with the first two cards very much explaining you know this four of wands you've got the baby cubs here and if you look into the distance there's that pathway and it's just mountains and nothing else whereas when we lean into the nine of pentacles um that pathway leads up to a whole castle so it's to me representing physically creating abundance and safety in your own current reality and especially with the baby cubs here i i'm especially with the six of cups over here as well it's I'm really being taken to childhood and almost feeling like I don't feel safe here or I don't like where I'm at currently. I don't want to be here. I, I don't feel happy in this environment. So I need to find that safe space elsewhere. You're being called to use that beautiful energy where you've maybe created a safe space in, you know, channeling from other realms and just going into other realms or daydreaming or through art and all of that and it's almost like you're being called now where you're at now as you've grown up to bring that into your current physical reality and that's with whatever works for you there's this strong urge for you guys to almost shake up specifically your morning routine when you wake up um and really fill that with things that make you feel good um and that's why you're being called to play about and really listen to what your body needs, what your inner child needs, um, what your shadow side needs in order to feel safe and want to show up in the present. So if you are someone and you know, um, it could be physical in the sense that you could be somebody that really resonates with water. You're being called to maybe have like a bath first thing in the morning, a shower first thing in the morning, get by the ocean, get by a lake stream, wherever you can, or work with water, allow that to protect you. I'm also being shown people moving their body around. I keep being taken to like waking up and listening to your body and what it needs straight away because there's almost this feeling of like, if I need to show up in the physical world, I need to... Um, wake up early and I need to do this and I need to do this and I need to run and I need to it's almost like schedule and it's like I'm putting my foot down and I've got to push whereas Rhiannon's almost like no unless you're called to you need to listen to what you truly want and show up for your body first thing in the morning presently to see how your day is going to go and see if there's anything in your own energetic field so for example I'm being shown somebody waking up complete silence no phone and I'm sitting there and I'm listening to my body and when they, I'm listening to these feelings that are coming up from my body I'm really really allowing and holding space for them and feeling into them sometimes with feelings we might want to disassociate from them because it's like I don't want to have a bad day I don't want to have this I don't want to feel anger and there's almost this feeling of almost uh disassociating from a feeling or maybe looking at a feeling from arm's length and i'll describe that in a way of like so now you have like very earthy placements so you have like an earth moon it's almost like compartmentalizing your emotions this is this this is this this is this it's not feeling it it's just kind of describing it and kind of putting it in order and being like okay this is this and this is that or if you have like an air moon and there's a lot of air energy, it's almost like you're reviewing your emotions. It's like this, I'm going through this and this, and it's almost like I'm picking at a wound, but I'm not feeling the wound. I'm just almost opening it up, poking at it, opening it up, poking at it. And you're being called to listen to your body and feel, actually embody the feeling first thing in the morning and allow your body to surrender to that process because it could even be something as little as i'm fatigued you know your body could be fatigued so maybe that morning you want to have a more calmer routine you want to move slower 
you know what i mean thinking of foods that will energize you but not you know having have having like heavy caffeine and pushing your body to get to it it's like no let me just pace myself let me just nourish my body you know my body's my temple let me just listen to it let me just nurture it let me move slow maybe i don't need that heavy music in my ear today maybe i just need to move different you know maybe i can why maybe i shouldn't run super fast and run on the treadmill this morning and, and push it maybe today i need to do something a bit slower maybe i just need a bit of yoga today and then i'm being taken to like aches in the body in the physical body so when sometimes we have aches um or like a stiffness there's usually a bit of pent up energy there um and we all have it at different points in the body you're being called to really listen to that in the morning as well because that's where there's trapped energy waiting to come through so i keep being shown i don't know why i'm being taken to the wrists and wanting to do this and allow them to move and let that energy kind of come out from there and pour in and it's almost like when i'm doing that my body is kind of like allowing those trapped energies to come out and then i'm feeling that emotion um i'm being taken to the lower back i'm being taken to the shoulders the neck um i'm wanting to almost move my neck around my ankles my feet you're being called to really listen the minute that you're up and be present with your emotions because i almost feel like um even you guys just doing that for a couple of weeks i feel like you're gonna see a really big difference because i just see you guys it, it's almost like i'm processing something because i see some of you guys almost feeling like you haven't got over something in your life like that's where i'm being taken or feeling like you haven't moved on from something or feeling like you um you keep going around in circles with something and i feel like energetically it's almost like you've moved on but there's almost like an, a trapped emotion somewhere which is goes even deeper than that actual first meaning of it if that makes sense so for example let's just use a normal example you could feel like you might not be able to get over like an ex or something like that or someone you dealt with but really it's not even them it's a wound that goes further and it's it's almost there trapped in the body and then it's it's coming up as you listen to it because i see maybe some mornings some of you guys then maybe going through a little bit of a grieving process because i'm being taken to the heart space and me feeling a bit achy but i just see you guys sitting there and allowing it to come out and move in your body like that and i see it coming out and i see it it's almost like your inner child like i feel like this i feel like that and it's i'm purging but then after i feel really good because it's just come out of my body so there's a strong reference in your early morning to really listen to the body and and how it wants to move and how it wants to go you know um because i feel like that's going to help you eat more consciously and, and presently and fuel your body with what it really needs um i see that and i also see it's going to have you almost observing areas in your life where you may have been avoid in certain situations because of a feeling because you would have been in tune with your emotions and energy from that early morning it's almost like I don't want to answer these texts, but I understand why I don't want to answer these texts. I'm avoiding, um, you know, kind of giving my energy out there. I'm, I'm avoiding this conversation right here. I'm avoiding this. And it's almost like you're allowing yourself to feel that. And then it's like, once that feeling has passed, you're there. It's almost like I'm not wanting to go over the bridge because I'm fearing the trawl underneath. Um, but I know everything that I want is over that bridge, but it's it's almost like I'm avoiding, you know, the trawl. Um, but the minute I walk over the bridge and I see the trawl, I actually see that, you know, he um, has kind of helped me get over my fears and he's kind of helped me acknowledge them. And he's actually kind of an all right guy. So I'm, I'm going over the bridge to get exactly what I want because I almost feel like for some of you guys, you may feel like you're not progressing or you're not showing up in the physical in an area where you want to. Um, and there's that avoidance but i think that early morning of you just processing and feeling in silence without the projection of other people and the projection of the internet and, and taking all of that in you just doing that and taking 30 minutes to 40 minutes out it's really going to allow you to um process that and also just physical things that are going on with your body as well like um you could just be super fatigued that morning you could just be um you know it could be a part of your menstrual cycle and you you know your body's calling you to move a little bit slower or calling you that and you, you'll be more in tune that's that's one thing that i'm 
really being shown and i feel like that's the key to building this castle because it's almost like you're intuitively moving where you need to then without avoiding a feeling that comes with it um and i think that's going to be another more peaceful state of your healing journey um not feeling like you have to constantly open up a wound to see why it's trapped it's almost like you're just listening and you're just allowing it to come out and i think that's going to be really helpful for you uh because the six of cups here and i love that we've got the like magical little unicorn above with all the color and they're flying together kind of like over that sun i just feel like your inner child specifically guides you through maybe career moves that you do through life and i feel like your inner child you're super connected to your inner child and i feel like your inner child is constantly showing you what would make you happy and what would emotionally fulfill you um so when certain feelings come up it's almost like your inner child's like this is here this is here this needs to change this you know this is this is something that i'm grieving or this is a pain that i have and it's almost like i'm viewing it but i'm kind of wanting to fight it off um or i'm viewing it and instead of feeling into it i'm almost analyzing it and trying to understand it and trying to make my mental brain understand it where it's not anything to do with that it's the emotional side needing a release um and i feel like the more you do that there's that clear channel of your inner child coming through um and i see a lot of emotional fulfillment then that you guys are then creating because you're moving more with intention and you're listening to those emotions and there's not a backed up feeling you know of residue you know because sometimes we can heal big things but the debris and, and the residue can kind of stick around and that's where we get kind of trapped energies and that's where you're being called for it to come out and it could be that you wake up early morning and you just want to dance because it's that energy needs to move about it could be that you wake up early morning you want to go into the ocean or go into a lake or something and have a swim it could be that you need light cords um you could just need to really just feel into it or you could need to just do some stretches or visualize that feeling um you know but that that's something that i'm really being taken to because we have the hermit here so it's like there's something inside of you that's trying to show you um these feelings of what maybe you might be avoiding because i almost see like uh i want to go into another realm or i want to daydream or i want to um i want to avoid this but it's not actually that that you're avoiding it's the feeling uh, but let's get deeper. I want to pull some more cards. So what guidance does Rhiannon have for my pile number? And the thing is about you, you're a very deep person and you also pick up emotions. And I think that's why as well, you guys may find that you either get super fatigued or you feel like there's just too much energy going on and you just want to disassociate, you just want to disconnect to it because I feel like you do pick up energy a lot from other people. You feel very clairsentient, you feel very empathic. So sometimes these feelings that are coming out of your energy, they're not even yours. Um, but it's almost like you've taken it in and I feel like that's maybe why you might fight it because it's like it's not mine it's not mine or I don't know why this is here and I'm viewing it and I don't understand it so you're being called to allow that to just kind of flow out because sometimes it might not be yours as well um, pile number one please pile number one I think as well that's going to help you with being present and knowing that when you're around situations and all of a sudden you feel awful or you feel angry and it's you, you'll be able to understand that emotion isn't mine. I wasn't feeling that before I was here and that's not mine. And I know that that wasn't in my, you know, I've got nothing to even be angry about. That isn't mine. I've just taken that on. I'm going to reject that. That can go back out or I can feel into it to just allow it to come out because it really is not mine. Because I feel like you have that gift of being able to just take on emotions and transmute them. Um, so I feel like you might have got caught up in the sauce sometimes with other people's emotion thinking it's yours. So I feel like that's going to really help you analyze that gift in itself, that clairsentient gift, that empathic gift, but also your own emotions and clearing your vessel in that way. Uh, pile number one messages from Rihanna for my pile number ones. We have the cave sanctuary. I'm not shocked that's come through. Pile number one, guidance messages. We have vigilance. And then we'll pull one more. Pile number one, guidance messages from Rihanna. Oh. We have focus as well. Okay. Back of the deck, we have strength.
Yeah, I almost feel like she's almost given tips for you to work with your own gift. Because this is a gift that you have, Claire Sentience, and being able to really deeply feel and be an empathic. It's a gift, but sometimes with those gifts, we can sometimes feel like they're a little bit more of a curse than they are a blessing. Because um, it can get very tiring, and I feel like she's almost wanting you to enjoy life. So she's wanting you to process that and give you kind of like tips to work through that. Because um, when I'm looking at the storm people and then we have vigilance here and the tide's out and the tide's kind of coming back um, and flooding in, which is, I, I don't know, I just find that super interesting. I just feel like sometimes we don't know what's under the ocean. We don't know what's under the sea until the tide goes out and then we can kind of see something. So it's almost like you're being called then to especially in the mornings, almost flush out the system, allow the tide to go out by processing these feelings and emotions so you can really sit with what's there in your grounded essence. When you connect to the stone people and the stone people in that realm, they're very grounded, they move very slow. At least for me, I almost feel like the messages come through really slow. And I'm like, oh, okay, because I'm not used to that. As you guys know, I talk fast. I'm more, vibrational wise, I'm more fey. Like, I'm very like, da -da 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 -da. so when I tap into the stone people, it's so like, hello and I'm like oh, okay this is slow um which is a bit different for me um but that's the energy that you're being pulled into because it's almost like the tide's going out you're being made aware of your energy first um so that when these bits of water come in you kind of like know where you are and you're able to kind of ground that in which is really beautiful um and I think you really do need moments in the day where you're by yourself and you may think yeah I do have time by myself but having your phone in your hand scrolling through TikTok is not by yourself because these apps, they're energetic realms. And I know it doesn't look like it, but everything is energy and their spaces. It's like going into a door. It's like the equivalent of going into a really busy shopping center, except on social media, you're not just in that busy shopping center. You're hearing people's opinions, people being angry and hate comments and laughter and emotions. It's like when you scroll TikTok, you're literally watching about... 50 you know you, you scroll for like two minutes you've gone through 50 tiktoks of 50 people trauma dumping and laughing and being angry and feeling sad and there's a sad little animal like running and you know you have all these emotions and it's you come off and it's like a whirlwind so sometimes we think we're having time alone when actually we're not you know and that's where you're being called to really sit with your own energy and ground into your own energy and almost allow these emotions to flow out first so you can really sit with what you truly want and understand your own emotions and what you want to do whether it's with your career partnerships you know any of that so that's one thing you're being called to do which is really Really, really beautiful so let's pull your final two cards we have pile one guidance and messages from rihanna protection the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work yeah i feel like you getting grounded with your own emotions and energy first i feel like that in itself is going to protect you um i would say for you guys especially if you're doing work with other people or you're around a lot of people and a lot of people are emotionally dumping um i would say to exercise those boundaries with people especially if you know you haven't got the capacity to take on certain emotions on that day another thing that i'm being told is a lot of you guys work really well with herbs and the earth um so maybe keep in pouches of herbs that really ground you it's going to be different for all of you because herbs work different for all of us so i'm not gonna recommend anything i would say intuitively go to where you're drawn to i'm also being told especially with the stone people here and you guys chose the stone from the beach so like keeping stones and rocks with you to really tether you in and ground you. In the back of the deck, you have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. I do feel like spirit around you help you clear your energy. Um, you guys may even work with the fae um, because I'm really being taken to nature there. So I really do feel like nature itself and spirit just your spirit team your spirit council i do feel like they clear your energy and help clear your energy but the focus more so here is understanding what is your own emotion and your own energy beforehand because even when we post 
a photo on social media or we post a post on social media people are then energetically tapping into that and there's people that you know may send not the best energies and and, and send that to your energy so it's like a, a knowing what's yours and what isn't i feel like that's the almost almost what rihanna wants to cover um so you that's kind of grounding you there because it's almost like you're not taking it on as your own and allowing it to kind of spiral with you you know um pile number one please pile number one final card from rihanna for my pile number ones we have the crowning initiation thresholds birth rebirth a seat at the table birth rebirth a seat at the table initiation and thresholds interesting i almost feel like through this clearing like i said and you guys really sitting with your own emotions i almost feel like there's a lot of seeds then being planted because the more you're doing it like i said the tide's going out you're able to see what's under the ocean and i almost feel like new ideas and new uh it's almost like your heart's telling you what it truly wants your soul's telling you what it truly wants your emotional body's telling you what it truly wants and it may be different to what you think um what what you think it is once those little bits of debris are kind of coming out uh because it's almost like your body's speaking to you and then you're listening to it so you know you may be someone and you may think oh I, when i wake up i need a lot of fire and i need the sun and i need that where in actuality your body might need something completely different and want something completely different so it's allowing you to align with that and i feel like that's going to rebirth a whole even new way of looking at life again um and the way you look at yourself and then the back of the deck, we have the Holy Grail. Stop the endless searching in a quest. Yeah, it's almost like I'm using my mind or I'm using my logical mind or my intellectual side to find why I'm stuck on this person or why I feel this or why I feel that. And the answer isn't even there. The answer is in my emotions. And my emotions are trying to show me where it is. And it just needs to come out. It just needs to be received. It just needs to flow out. Because there's this feeling of I'm looking for it and I'm trying to analyze it. And it's not making sense why I'm stuck on this, but it's a feeling um, that's there trying to make its way out and you're being called to feel it. Because um, it's almost this feeling like I'm batting it away. I shouldn't be feeling this. Or why am I feeling this? I'm so frustrated, but it's coming through and you're being called to even align it. Even if you don't actually know what you're feeling, but it's moving. It's, it's moving through you sometimes i don't know what i'm purging but i'm crying and i know what's coming out and i feel good after it but i can't really put words to what i cleared i just know it's no longer there <laughs> that happens sometimes um because there's almost this feeling of wanting to understand something wanting to get like one in an answer one in this one in that and it's like it's just a feeling that's that's coming through so pile number one, that is what I have for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I have the links um, so you guys can research and look into Goddess Rihanna if you'd like to. I recommend you what like reading one of the links because I love her story and I feel like that would be able to help you guys too. Um, but either way, I hope you guys have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys on my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal two, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what guidance Rhiannon has for you right now. So let's get straight in. Um, so tap me into the collective of my pile number two, please. What guidance does Rhiannon have for my pile number twos? What guidance does Rhiannon have for my pile number twos? I'm hearing I have a dream from Abba or Mamma Mia, wherever you've heard it. Pile number two. What guidance? Ooh. We have the devil reversed. We love when the devil's reversed. Um, pile number two. Pile number two, please. What guidance does Rhiannon have for my pile number two? The Prince of Wands. Never, ever, ever feel like your emotions are too much or that you shouldn't be feeling a certain type of way never feel ashamed for your sensitivity is a strong she's coming through very motherly here very protective like you're i don't know why i want to cry because it's just like your emotions are so 
needed and beautiful and your heart space is so beautiful that I just want to I feel like like I want to release or grieve a little bit because it's like you I, I can just see it like you feel very deeply you have a very deep heart and I'm keep saying don't apologize like I feel like you might have had to apologize maybe through childhood or in relationships where you've really seen people or really like it's it's almost like you're in my life you're a part of me you're a part of my family you're you're one with me it's almost like i become one with you when you're in my life and it's like i i'm putting you on not a pedestal because i feel like you might have thought oh maybe i put that person on a pedestal but it's not that it's like you just naturally honor people and see their beauty and see their light you naturally want the best for people especially the people that you're close to and you want people to do well and feel good so it's almost like i'm being loyal to you because that's just what you do and i'm pouring into you because that's just what you do and then it's almost like you're not you've had times where that wasn't reciprocated and it's almost like when you've expressed your needs it's almost like well that's too much you were taking that too seriously or it wasn't that deep we weren't that close or it's not that serious and it's like you almost kind of brushed it off like maybe it wasn't or maybe it wasn't that much and I I almost feel like I want to let you feel into it like your feelings and your needs mattered and just because people might not have been able to match up to it it didn't mean that you were being too loyal you were given too much in that sense like you were gonna have that back and the fact that you give and have deep emotions like that and you honor people in that way shows that there's so many other people that do that too. I just think there have been moments where maybe you've given a lot of love to people that just didn't know what to do with it or didn't know how to reach those depths. And I keep wanting to say like, I feel like you've worked through the understanding of, you know, overgiving and people aren't giving it back and not reciprocating it so I think you've worked through learning balance in connections now that you've learned the balance you don't have to punish yourself for feelings that you had um sit in that beautiful garden with all of those flowers and all of those colors with the you know beautiful norms and all of that because that's the enrichment that you have within and sit there and honor all of those parts, no matter how deep they are, no matter how sensitive they are, no matter how loyal they are, honor that. Keep pouring that into yourself until someone recognizes that and is able to pour that into you. Because I think maybe in the past, you might have been around people that were emotionally unavailable. And there's almost this feeling of, there's a lack here. I, I, I see it in childhood, so it's like, and I think you know a lot of this already, but I'm being told just to go over it. I feel like there was a lack maybe of love that you felt in childhood or your needs being met. And maybe you saw other people not having those needs met too. So it's like, I have to, I have an abundance of love in my heart space. So I'm going to give it to everybody that I see because there's a lack of it here. And I feel like what that's done is, you know, you, you've had connections where people were emotionally unavailable, people that needed healing, broken birds. And it's almost like, well, I have a lot of this. I'm going to give it. But then it's almost like, I'm giving it as well because it's what I would like back in return, but I haven't had it back. And being told, you're gonna have it back. I don't know why I wanna cry. Um, it's just like, you're gonna have it back. But there's this feeling of right now, don't shun those parts of yourself. That's your light. Like that big heart, the way you look at life, the color, the connection to the inner child, the beauty that you pour out that's your light don't cut it out um because other people might not have been able to pour it back into you there will be people that are going to pour that back into you is the message um so you're being called to not shun that because it's almost like that's a frequency that is going to draw in someone that's able to pull that back into you moving forward um, and that's why you're being called not to cut the weeds and make everything smaller and keep everything surface level. Don't don't cut that back because you think that it's not out there because it is. Um, you've learned the boundaries. You put the gates up on the garden. Let those sunflowers grow as high as they need to. Um, and that's why I was sharing I Have a Dream um, by ABBA because I think, you know, um, 
she sings are they saying if you see the wonder of a fairy tale you can face the future even if you fail i believe in angels something good in everything i see because it's like you see people's heart space you see where people need healing you see the good in people um and i think sometimes you've had you've seen a lot of ugliness back and it's like okay maybe i shouldn't see that like in people or maybe i shouldn't and it's you're learning to you're being asked to balance now because it's like the gates that i'm being shown are your boundaries i see the light in you i see where you're broken but it's not my job to fix it um especially in a connection where it's a romantic connection or something like that it's not my job to fix that and that be my only role if i'm not being pulled back into you need to have a beautiful garden like this too it's not for me to keep giving you my flowers and then you just putting them there and you're not even watering them watering them or you're giving them flowers into other people and then coming back for more for me like it's not I'm not here to just fill you up um I think people have been incredibly drawn to your beautiful light and you've been called not to dim it um because now that you've learned boundaries these garden um what are they called garden railings fences they're up now you know so you know you're gonna know when someone's coming towards you and not able to reciprocate it because you know your own needs now but you're being called not to um punish yourself for feelings that you felt because th that was part of you and you feel so incredibly deeply and it's a it's, it's a beautiful thing we've got the rose quartz here i think you have a beautiful abundant heart space which is really really beautiful um let's keep going pile number two guidance from rihanna like i keep seeing you almost like looking at where you cried to someone or you were just really upset about someone or couldn't get over a situation or you know um it's like i'm feeling emotions or i'm making you a big piece of my life like i'm putting you in my life and i'm you're a priority to me and then it's almost like you're shaming yourself for making that person a priority or expressing those emotions or maybe expecting that love back it's like why did i do that and it's almost shunning that side of yourself and it's like because you have such a beautiful heart space why would you think that people would kind of do that back um don't shun those parts of you you know um, what guidance does rihanna have for my pile number twos what guidance does rihanna have for my pile number twos seven of pentacles what guidance does Rihanna have for my pile at number twos? I'm hearing Janae Aiko song Bond Tired when she sings, look at how far you have come and look at all that you have going, look at who you have become. Baby, you've got to keep going. I'm hearing that. Pile number two guidance from Rihanna. Ten of Wands and the back of the deck is the Four of Cups interesting i'm hearing the song by adele as well it, it's a woman like me and she sings i forgive me if i say the lyrics wrong she sings something like loving you was a breakthrough it's sure what my heart could really do and now some other man is going to get the love i gave to you and the reason i think that song's coming through is because there's almost this feeling that Rhiannon's given me of you turning inward right now and really looking at maybe connections you might have had and friendships you might have had and how much you would have honored them or how much you would have prioritized them and how much you know you would have like given to them or the expectations you might have had those are actually feelings that you have within and things that are your needs too and you're being called to really write things down that you wish to have with someone else because that's going to strengthen these fences around your garden. So say that you were somebody that's very loyal and you would never go and do something without, you know, speaking to that person first. Whereas that person may have betrayed you by being disloyal to you and doing something behind your back. You're being called to look at that and be like, okay, effective communication. I'm a very loyal person and I, I need someone to really... Um, value me and my emotions before they make decisions that could hurt me there yeah it's a boundary so you're able to view that and see that okay i really wanted to make that person feel seen when they were in my life i always showed up for them and made them feel seen do i want to be seen maybe that's another one to write down does this person that i'm around make me feel seen 
can they come into this garden because you know if they're not making me feel seen and they're not honoring that part of me or they're not able to make me feel safe why should they come in you know what I mean because it's almost like you've listened to other people's scars seen other people's scars and it's almost like you've tailored yourself to heal their scars and it's like you've gone above and beyond to find the right herbs and treatments for their scars but it's like it's almost like you're then waiting with your scars and it's almost like they're not then it's almost like you never got it back and then it's almost like you feel used up or it's like oh maybe I did too much or maybe I shouldn't have done that and it's not that at all um it's not that at all it was almost like you had so much love it was like sometimes you gave it to people that just weren't able to embody it and that was never meant to be taken as rejection or you not being good enough um you're now being called to bring all of that energy back and pour it back into your own it's not even wounds it's just into your heart space calling your energy back because I think you've given out a lot of your heart space I think you've been super loyal it's almost like you've been watering everybody else's garden um and then come back to your own garden and then it's like okay they're gonna repay the favor and I haven't got anything left in this can anyway and then it's like they're not watering your flowers back maybe they don't even own a watering can um and that's why you're being called to pull all of that energy back it's like calling that water back calling that energy back so i would definitely say if you guys could like burn a candle it could be near a water it, water if you work with water but i'm specifically seeing fire and the element of fire and you guys just burn in a candle um and just it, it's almost like with that flame it's almost igniting that energy within you and calling back all of that energy you've put out all of that energy that's gone everywhere it's like calling that energy back and using that flame to kind of ignite your heart space and open it because it's like being in the energy of receiving and calling it back um because you deserve to pull that energy back into you um that's something that's coming through and the reason i'm saying that as well is we have the four of cups we've got the sun behind representing the fire um and as you can see there's the, you know the big fly flow here and it's watering down to these three cups here so it's that's where I'm being taken because you might be feeling a little bit apathetic or just like what's the point in emotions what's the point in all of this these like love feelings what's the point I feel that apathy feeling um and I think it's almost like a, it's because you're cutting off it's almost like you're telling yourself I shouldn't be loyal like that and I shouldn't be this and I shouldn't be that you should be that's part of you and that's your beautiful light but these gates these boundaries are going to keep people from just picking 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 and not honoring you know like when i go out into nature and i and i take herbs i don't just pick them and i don't just litter and and just disrespect the ground that i'm on i know that i'm work, walking on ancient ground i respect the earth that i'm on and i'll ask another guy before i take anything is it okay if i can have this and if i receive that you know yes which is you know that energy and i will take it if i feel like no it's needed to be here maybe it's feeding animals around here i won't take it and i honor where i'm at at all times the same way with friends i'll honor what they're going through if i'm going through something i need to talk about i'll say are you okay for me to express these emotions and then if they're like right now no i'm like okay that's cool i won't then do that so you're being called to um really honor your own emotions and your own feelings right now and know what your requirements are um and and really sit with that feeling and I, it's almost like you're going into a phase of being topped up and having that beautiful energy come back but right now you there's a feeling of apathy and not i'm shame i feel shamed i feel like i'm ashamed of my heart space or why i'm so upset or why i'm hurt by this situation or why it's been five years and i'm stuck on this and it's like there's something being shown for you to you know pull back into your call back you know um i'm also being called for some of you guys to write a letter and burn it if you feel the need to um and express those emotions because it's like these emotions i wanted to come up but i almost feel like i'm shunning them um because i don't i shouldn't have these it's been a while and i shouldn't care um but they're here for a reason you're being called to honor your heart space right now pile number Am I using these? Yeah, I love how they came through. We have rain, purification. And we have iceberg, submerged. 
you may be having a lot of dreams of ice and water right now because you may you know that it's almost like emotions wanting to come to the surface whenever we see anything connected to water so that could be ice it could be you know a tsunami big waves um just water in general um it's usually because there's emotions coming up to the surface and emotions coming through and if we're seeing ice like we've got the iceberg card here it's almost like an emotion but it's it's frozen it's solid so it's almost wedged and stuck and we want to get that moving and flowing um otherwise you know when when there's a stream and there isn't a flow the water stays stale and stagnant and get murky but with the flow and the flushing of that and allowing these feelings to be felt in these parts of ourselves and we're not shunning them we haven't got you know that feeling turn into ice then we're not it's not staying stale we're able to allow it to flow and move through um and it can pass on to where it needs because then we have purification that this is literally a stream so i was talking about there's literally a stream here um so i feel like rihanna's calling you guys to purify your energy right now and honor and those beautiful sides to you because they're what lights you up and they're what what makes you you um and not kind of shaming them it's almost causing a stagnancy pile oh we've got two more again okay um let me just move these over we have karma dna so this could be something that you've been releasing um you could be releasing karmic wounds um so again like i said a lot of this may have come from childhood so with that being said you know you may have had parents that almost didn't feel loved in a way and didn't know how to receive love so then it's like you kind of came through and was like okay well i'm gonna you know pour that into you i'm gonna, i'm not seeing love kind of given to me i'm gonna pour it into you but it could be that as time went up through your ancestry line, there could have been a bunch of children birthed with beautiful hearts, but then it was almost like, I'm giving it out, I'm giving it out, and now I'm shaming myself for it because I've been hurt and now I'm hiding away. Whereas you're being called, you're here to shift that pattern, take off that layer and stand in that beautiful heart space. It's not the energy that needs to change in the sense of, I don't need to shun my heart. I just need to keep these boundaries up and honor my feelings and my own needs and get to know my own needs before topping up everybody else. Because it's almost like you're an expert at understanding everybody else's needs. Um, but sometimes you might not understand your own because maybe your needs weren't met. And that's why you're being called to sit with your own heart space and listen to what you truly want. And that's why I'm being told again, what you may have expected or wanted from connections with other people is a key to what some of your needs are which is like loyalty feeling loved feeling seen you know that sort of thing so that's that's coming there and look at that we have innocence with the children looking at the sun look at that that's so beautiful innocence that's the thing about your heart as well it's got like an innocence to it um it's got such a beauty to it. It's got such a depth to it. You've got such a deep connection and beautiful connection to your inner child. And I feel like it's your inner child kind of like holding on to you going, these are feelings, these are needs that I would like, these are needs that I would have. And maybe at times you might have projected onto others what you would have liked. Um, sometimes when we are not given what we want in childhood or what we it's not what we want it's what we need in childhood what we're supposed to have um a lot of the times as we go older we can kind of imagine or create a person in our mind that has given us all of those things and then we might project that onto people that aren't deserving of it so we might you know when we're not getting what we want from our parents it's almost like we may create in our mind us having that even though we don't have it so then when it comes to relationships it's like we may be drawn to relationships that have those same wounds as those parents that are emotionally unavailable and then we'll project that they are available and they are giving us these things through somebody else um which can hurt and, and really cut us then when that person reacts the same way the parent did because it's opening up that wound um but it's a chance for you to pour into that wound and and really feel into that and nurture that back and again, of course, we have vulnerability. It's almost like you're feeling what maybe ancestors may have felt with this DNA thing of, um, I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to feel these feelings. I don't want to give somebody the opportunity to do that. I, I don't want to feel those feelings again. But that's where you're being called to listen to your needs because that's creating this beautiful fence to keep people at bay. So it's like, unless they have the password, they're not coming in. Um, it's really beautiful. But I know it can be painful to really feel those emotions hi veda <laughs> hi handsome boy he went Brr. hi baby hi 
Hi, handsome. Oh, you're coming up to say hi. You're so handsome. Oh, handsome boy. Pile number two. Um, pile number two. Say hi, everyone. Say hi. Say hi, guys. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Pile number two, please, for guides. Pile number two. Oh, what do we have? We have rapture, sensuality, love, devotion, romance, ecstasy, pleasure. That's the thing. I feel like you guys are actually quite deep romantics. I feel like you guys naturally um view life through a very loving lens and i feel like you guys just have so much love within you it's coming out to be expressed i feel like there's so much of that within you you deserve to have it back and you're being called to honor these and not shun them away they're a really beautiful part of you and that alignment is what's going to call in someone that's able to give that to you um which is really beautiful but you're being called to pull this and also just acknowledge that you have these parts of you inside of yourself i've been i used to say all the time i'm not a romantic person i'm not a romantic person i don't like romance things i don't like that but it was almost like my way of shunning that feeling because it, it to me it, it i didn't feel like um i didn't feel like i was worthy of having it back you know like i'd give it to people but i didn't feel like i was worthy of having it back and you, you can go back on my pick of cards and as back as 2020 and I, I would say in those videos i'm not a romantic person fast forward today i'm a very very romantic person a very romantic person and i require that in relationships i require to have that given back and to feel that because i feel that deeply um and i feel like that's what you're starting to honor uh which is really beautiful what do we have at the back of the deck the breathing rose oh my god heart healing emotions connection and time eases yeah, you're being called to water and pour into your heart space right now. I would also say energetically to visualize a rose or a flower that's your favorite in the space of your heart chakra and imagine yourself energetically watering it, nurturing it, the sunlight activating it, it blooming in your heart space. Um, and any feelings and emotions that come up while that's happening, allow them to be processed through. Uh, that's something that I'm being called for you guys to do. Just in an energetic state, imagine your heart chakra as a rose and, and water in it and the, the sun hitting it. And it's it's all being nurtured and poured into. Pile number two. Guidance messages from Rihanna on final card. We have magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. That came through for power number one. I feel like ancestry wise, like ancestors are working with you to heal these feelings. Um and really stepping into more of a divine feminine energy and it again doesn't matter about genders it's receiving i think that sometimes you might have had trouble receiving uh there's i'm hearing cinnamon girl by lana del rey and she sings if you uh it's something like if you hold me without hurting me you'll be the first that i ever did i just hear that but it's almost like there's this fear I, i'm picking up with you guys that similar wound of like fear and love or feeling undeserving of love it's almost like i've got to work for love i've got to pour into you but it's like i'm scared for you to hit parts of myself that i haven't tapped into because it's almost like i don't want to surrender and be in the state of receiving because i don't want to be disappointed when you don't do it so it's almost like i have to keep myself upright and doing for other people because it's almost like a subconscious belief that i'm not going to have it back or i'm not worthy to have it back and i don't want to get disappointed on my hopes up that you're going to be able to water those roots you know and help me water those roots within me and not have it back so i'm just going to do it for you and maybe you've been in connections where you've been the one more in control or more in a masculine energy um but we're both you know both sides are meant to be in masculine and feminine energies and i just feel like there's a shunning of that thing because it's like i need to pour into you so you're honoring 
the feelings and the emotions that are there of you know love and pouring in but it's almost like I don't want to I'm worried to feel those feel feelings or it's foreign to me to feel those feelings of having that met um and that's why you're being called to that's why I was being shown the rose and you're pouring into it and you giving all of that love and, and beauty to yourself as well because it's like you deserve what you give out you deserve to be heard and seen you deserve to be felt you deserve to be loved and you don't have to be a certain size or have this amount of money or be working this hard or have this job to be loved like you will love like you began with love from the beginning and you're gonna end with love at the end every single version of you deserve love you know even those parts of you because I, I almost see you looking back at situations and be like yeah well why no one you know why didn't they want to be with me then you know um no one did they didn't want to be with me then I didn't have this then and I didn't have that it, it doesn't matter what you had or what you didn't have you deserve to have love back and there's almost a subconscious belief of I didn't deserve it then because I didn't have this and I didn't have you did deserve it then and you deserve it now and you always will deserve it always um so there's a reference to that because it's almost this feeling of I'm not where I need to be or I'm not the size that I want to be or I'm not healed enough or I'm not in the job that I want who would want to be with me I'm not making the money that I that I want to be making and I don't have this under my belt and it's like you deserve love at every phase and you deserve love now is a strong message and the back of the deck you have abundance prepare yourself from income and abundance release any mental blocks you may have in fairy land and human land there is enough abundance for everyone I love that because it's like nature doesn't go oh daffodils we, you know they're not they're not good enough they don't look like roses we're not gonna nurture them today they're not gonna grow it doesn't happen there's there's so many flowers and plants and you know all over the earth and they deserve to bloom because they just they're part of source and you deserve to bloom because you're part of source you know um part of the god source part of you know all of that you are pure love and you deserve to have that back um so that's a beautiful message so pile number two that is what i have for you guys i really hope that you enjoyed the reading um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i will have the links to um the story of rihanna in my comment section and description box for you guys to look into it's a really beautiful story that she has so i do recommend reading into it but if you don't want to that's cool um it really helped me so I'm, I'm thinking maybe it could help you guys too um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what guidance Rhiannon has for you so you guys chose the bumblebee jasper I will start with tarot and then we will move on to your oracle card. So let's get in. So pile number three, please tap me into the collective of my pile number threes. What guidance and messages does Rhiannon have for my pile number threes? There's almost this feeling that I'm getting from her where it's like, oh, this is different. Like, oh, like it's almost like a, you know, when you watch like a flame ignite and it goes, boom. There's a feeling of that because there's almost this feeling of like shaking the hands like oh this is different this is uh this is gonna be fun like there's a there's a feeling of that she's given me which is confirmation that this energy is a very good energy i'm tapping into so pile number three tap me into the collective of my pile number three what guidance does rihanna have for my pile number threes what guidance does Rhiannon have for my pile number threes? What guidance does Rhiannon have for my pile number threes? I just hear let them talk. Let them talk. Let them judge. Who cares? I just hear that. Six of swords. The star. I'm going to have to cover that up. Um, let me just put a crystal over it. We have the star. I wish I didn't have to do that. She looks very good. Pile number three. Pile number three. What guidance does Rhiannon have for my pile number threes? Sorry for the wind, guys. Nine of Pentacles. Pile number three, please. Pile number three. Ooh. 
I'm being told to use these. We have the Two of Wands and the Emperor. Okay. I'm hearing Mabel's song, Let Them Know. It's a really good song. It's like a dance song. And she's like, let them know. Um, she's kind of singing about, yeah, let them watch. Let them watch. And I'll just stand and pause for you sort of thing. It's a really good song. You should listen to it. Mabel. M-A-B-E-L. Um, let them know. And we've got Six of Pentacles at the back of the deck. Okay, so Six of Swords, the star, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands, and the Emperor. <laughs> yeah, even in your energy, it's like, I've, I've shifted. And straight away with your energy, I know we have the star here, but the stars are really sticking out to me. Um, like the stars, like the night sky, and then we have the Pentacles here as stars. Like they're really sticking out to me. Like I, I feel like I want to, I'm like... I almost feel like I'm cheerleading you on, like you're running a marathon and I'm the one on the side, like cheering you on. And I keep wanting to say, do it, go for it, do it, go for it. So I don't know if there's something you're gearing up to do um, or whether you've just played small for some time to make other, feel, other people feel comfortable. There's a strong reference here for you guys to just stand, let that spotlight shine on you and just be you authentically. Even if people want to judge and say things because I, I what she said at the beginning it, it was this feeling of like let them judge let them let them watch let let, let them watch Th there's a feeling of that because it's like you guys specifically are very bright and very authentic and a lot of the times when something is different when something is you know new or people express parts of themselves people that might not acknowledge that within themselves or shun those parts of themselves, they're going to judge it. It's always going to happen. So you're being called to just do it anyway. You're not meant to keep yourself small for other people. I feel like maybe in the past, you've kind of felt the need to do that. You may be someone that um, likes to tell jokes and likes to kind of be, you know, a little bit of the class clown. And that's just the way that you lift up spirits. And maybe you've had people in the past like, stop it not everything's that funny like not everything needs to be like that and you're being called to like that's you that's part of you like if it comes to you naturally and it's what you want to do allow that to happen um or it could be like you do things that you know when people see something like oh cringe oh cringe like for example um chloe bailey um the singer from chloe and harley the group she's very um she's a young girl and she's just kind of expressing herself and yes she's very out there and she's shining a lot but i've seen a lot of comments like oh cringe oh you're like really goofy ah oh. and it's like that's just her personality coming out and she's just expressing herself she's young she's letting it out leave her be like just leave her be. that's why she's at why are you trying to make her smaller for you to feel more comfortable leave her be just let her be and let her find a way even if you think right now she's not do an X, Y, Z, just let her find her way. And there's this feeling like I almost, like I almost feel like I wanna look at people that are like judging and be like, let them be, like let my pal number threes be, let them do that. Okay, you don't want to travel. Okay, that's fine. They're, they're doing it, that's their calling. If you're scared of that, why are you projecting the fears onto this person? Or, you know, you may be somebody that um, likes to wear, certain clothes that are very out there or you might like be very comfortable in your physical body and wear things where you're proud of your physical body and it's like don't let other people because i feel like you want to do something or you're going to do something and then there's just fears of judgment like i want to say this or i want to speak my mind or i want to just dance or i want to just do this or change careers or i want to do these things but i'm worried about what people are thinking f their opinions this is your life and you're doing this for you. You're not even going to remember them. You know what I mean? 50 years from now when you're looking back at your life. You know, you're not even going to remember them. Let yourself shine. Let yourself glow. Let yourself literally grow. I feel like that's the key to a lot of your abundance. I feel like that's the key to a lot of your... Um, a lot of your happiness and emotional fulfillment. And especially with the Six of Pentacles here... Uh, I almost feel with the Six of Pentacles, like, because it's, it's relating me over here then to the Six of Swords, because it's like past energy before this rebirth with the star. It's almost like, um, 
I see you've had friends or you've had partners or you've had people that have almost wanted to like tie a rope around you and keep you close and keep you small. It's like I'm almost wanting to cap your light. And then I'm, it's like, I'm almost telling you, I, <coughs> I can't speak. Maybe people have stopped you from voicing your own opinions because I feel like I can't speak. But it's like, you've had people tell you that something was too much or something was too different or too unique or you're doing too much, you're thinking too big, but then they've almost capped you from doing it. So then you've kind of kept it to yourself, but then they've almost funded off that energy. It's like, don't use that there, then pour it into me. So then it's like, oh, and it's almost like they've sucked that from you. But I feel like you've moved on from that and you're pouring back into yourself because we have this star energy and you are now being called to especially with the emperor card here this aries energy um you are now being called to go after what you want and know that other people's opinions and thoughts that's just their perception of reality and even sometimes it's not even just that's their perception of their reality and that's their projection they feel comfortable when you're not shining because then they feel good about themselves then they feel better because they're not shining like that because they've had to shun parts of themselves too. So it's like, if I stop this person from shining next to me, I'm not going to feel so washed out instead of just using, you know, that to inspire them and shine with you. Um, you're being called to be aware of that because it's not just their perception isn't your reality and they don't get it. Some people get it. They just don't want you to be doing that. Sometimes people are like that and I'm not going to like, you know, tiptoe around that there are people like that. And that's where you're being called to be careful where you're putting your energy and what you're listening to with the Six of Pentacles and really pour that into yourself. Because again, I feel like you have a lot of ideas. There's times where you want to say something. It's like, I shouldn't say this. I shouldn't say this. Because you've had people in the past where you've said something, you've called somebody out or you've put your you know, boundary in and you've been like, actually, I don't like this. And they've almost like gaslit you out of it. Like, um, there's this feeling of, you know, if, for example, you may have someone and be in a relationship with them and they're just not doing, like, you're doing things for them, they're not doing things for you. And then you express that, like, actually, you don't make me feel very wanted. And then it's almost like that need, which is a need, and you deserve to have that need, it's almost like you've been gaslit out of it, like, oh my God, like, you're asking for too much, nothing's enough for you. And it's like, I was only asking for the bare minimum, but okay. And it, there's this feeling that, like, you don't want to ask for your needs. You don't want to ask what you want. You know, your food comes to you in the restaurant and it's not what you wanted but there's this feeling of like I shouldn't ask for what I wanted even though I'm paying for it like I I shouldn't ask for that and it, it's almost like you're looking at it as bad even though you do it in a very polite way like oh sorry this isn't what I wanted it's like you're not it, there's this feeling of oh I shouldn't do that or who am I to be wearing that outfit who am I to be doing this you are you and you're the sun and you should be doing this because there's this feeling from Rihanna she was like rolling up her sleeves like right right then this is a good energy and this needs to be ignited you're here to activate you're here to stand out you're here to shine that light you're not meant to be put back into that box you're not meant to be capped and pay very attention to people that are trying to do that because other people are going to get inspired by you and stand next to you and be shining it's like popping back out so listen to that and really observe because i feel like people have almost sourced your energy sometimes by you you know, not seeing your worth and not feeling comfortable. And it's almost like you're gaining that back. It's like reclaiming that power. And every time you stand up for yourself and every time you honor your needs and you speak your needs, you are calling that energy back. You know, it's not even like I need to do shadow work on this. I need to release this. Every time you honor where you're at now, you call that energy back. Every time you're dating and you have requirements and you that's what you want and this is what you like and you say your own feelings, you are honoring that. You are honoring that part of yourself. That in itself is healing. Sometimes healing isn't just purging and writing things down. Sometimes it's purging, just shifting that energy, choosing different, honoring something, standing in power. And that's what you're being called to do. That's the message from Rihanna. And let them I'm gonna I'm gonna link the song. I have to link the song. Let them know because that's a song that I feel is really for you. Like let them speak about whatever it is that you're gearing up to do. Or this, you know, you finally having a voice and claiming your own emotions. And I am allowed to feel that, by the way, because that's how I feel. And I am allowed to um wear this, by the way, because it makes me feel good. I'm sorry you don't like it. 
you're reclaiming that every time you do something that you want to do it's almost like i shouldn't post this because then people think i'm too much i shouldn't you know feel these emotions and show it because then people with it no it, it, you're not living life for them you're not living life for them pile number three strong soul plexus energy activating for you guys because the sun and the stars are just sticking out for me so strong um pile number uh, three messages from rihanna on for my pile number threes messages from rihanna on for my pile number threes <laughs> dawn new beginning and it's going right under the star card as well love that pile number and i love how the star card's got all these butterflies we have shape shifting Pile number three messages from Rihanna on for my pile. Oh, one of your cards went on the floor. I'll grab it now. We've got Synergy, the green man. We get the other card because it fell. I was only going to do three, but it wanted to come through stillness. Let's move these over. Dawn, new beginnings, clouds, shape shifting, green man, synergy, lake, stillness. In the back of the deck, you have unfoldment, a lotus flower. Yeah, reveal all these petals. L allow all these petals to come out. Allow all of these colors to come out. Allow all of it to, to, co to come through. Um, allow your vibrancy and all those aspects of your personality and your multidimensionalness to come through. Allow all of that. Allow that. Because there's something about you that's so freeing. Like, so freeing. Um... It's so beautiful. I feel like you're kind of liberating yourself right now because even with shape shifting, I think you've always been the same person. I just think you've had a lot of projections and people just sticking things to you. And then it's like, you've almost kind of got confused maybe sometimes with your own energy. Um, or people have maybe created dense of like insecurity and things like that. Um, but underneath that, you were always this energy. So to other people, it's going to look like a shape shift and it's just popping out. I'm hearing I'm coming out. Diana Ross, I'm hearing that. It was Diana Ross, isn't it? I'm coming out. I think it is. Um, yeah, so I'm hearing that. Um, so to other people, it may look like you're shape shifting, but you're not shape shifting. You're just literally unfolding like that flower. Um, the flower was always underneath, you know, inside the bud. You're just popping out now. New beginning. You're not shunning that away and you're being called to not because i see little thoughts coming up of what, what is this person going to think what is this person going to say and i'm hearing like who cares who cares let them let them watch let them judge let them say this let them say that let them they were doing it before they're going to do it now let them who cares <laughs> i just keep wanting to say who cares who cares this is your life this makes you happy who cares whatever that is it could even be like a relationship that people around are like i don't I, I don't want you to have that or I don't want you to have that but it you know as, as long as you know it's good for you like what's the problem you know what I mean like what what's the issue um synergy and stillness I feel like with the lake card here as well it, it's like people almost wanted you to slow down so they could try and keep up people wanted you to dim so they could try and reach your shade it's like because it, it's almost like I can't reach up there or I can't go as fast as you. So instead of like training to go as fast as you or brightening their own light, it's like stop. Or it's like stop the water from flowing. How can I do that? And then it's almost like picking at insecurities or projecting fears onto you. Don't do that. You can't do that. You can't travel there. You can't um, do that job. You can't shift that. You can't do that. And it, it's, it's bubbling because it's like, no, 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 you're going too fast for me and I can't reach that. And then I'm going to feel like you're, you're, you're too much then. Like I, I, I don't want that. Or you keep putting in these boundaries and stuff and I can't reach them. So instead of that conversation of maybe we're not compatible, I'm going to try and take you off that pedestal to keep you here. And then I'm feeding off of that. And it's like, no, you're not here to do that. You know, you have your own needs and, and, and boundaries and ideas too. It's, it's not for, you're here to bloom and express all of those colors and parts of you. Because there's like aspects of your personality that maybe in the past you've shunned where maybe you were really connected to your inner child and more fun or, you know, parts of you where you were really loud and, and, and I, I just see someone being really funny 
and wanting to say and i see you like in situations like wanting to say funny jokes and then holding back and being like oh no i can't say that i can't say that and I'm, i want to go bite i don't know why did you sometimes bite your nails because it's, uh, it's almost like you're moving your hands to your mouth to shut your mouth because like you know you want to say it but there's this subconscious belief like don't so then i'm seeing somebody's hands go to their mouth so i don't know if you bite your nails when you're trying to hold in something or even just like knowledge like you know somebody's saying something wrong or inco incorrect or you know that somebody's got the story wrong or not saying something in the right way and it's like you want to correct them but then it's like oh no i can't i can't and it, i keep moving my hands to my mouth it's like oh no i can't say that i can't say it. it's nothing wrong with you just saying oh no this is how it happened oh no did you know this you know what i mean it, it, it it's that it's like I, I shouldn't be taking up space no you should be you should be you're not living for anybody else pile number three guidance from rihanna we have divination i love how the yellows come through here as well for you guys embrace your powers of divination which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. And look at her holding the cards. I love when you see decks and they have their cards of the deck, like in the deck. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Do you see how she's got the fairy cards in front of her and what these are the fairy cards? I don't know, I just find that really cool. They do it on the season of the witch cards too. Um, they're like holding the season of the witch cards in the card i just think that's really cool um anyway <laughs> uh embrace your powers of divination which are especially strong right now it could even be as well like you guys could be connected to spirit and that and you may be scared to pop that out or it could be like because uh, you know you could be with, with the cards here it's like oh i'm channeling and i've got a message but i don't know if i should say it say it it's coming through for a reason say it you know, that's another thing that's coming through. Um, but even again, like a lot of people will look at something and go, oh, well, that's not spiritual. But just activating people and being your authentic part of you, that's a mission that you have. That's very connected to spirit because that's your mission. You're activating people to be unique and holding space for people to shine their light too. That person's doing it, so I should too. So you're doing something that's connected to spirit there. That's a means of divination in itself. You being that light for others. And I feel like you are such a light. It's really beautiful. Um, and nature signs. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day. Nature talks to us continually. We need only open our hearts and minds. Look at the butterflies on there as well. Butterflies are really sticking out to me, which is really beautiful. Um, be receptive. Yeah, it's almost as like as well, you have strong intuition. And it's almost like you'll know something, but then it's almost like, oh, no, 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 that can't be true. Like, you could have, like, a feeling or an inkling about someone, and then it's almost like you're even backing down on that. Like, oh, no, 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 maybe it's just my thought. It's not your thoughts. Like, you are genuinely picking up that vibe. Whether it's a negative vibe or a good vibe, whatever it is you're feeling, I feel like a lot of the times you're on point with what you're thinking. Um, or there's a there's a lead there that you could follow, but sometimes you're like, oh, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't follow it you know what i mean um yeah because i almost feel like sometimes you might feel like people are annoyed with you or angry with you and then it's like oh maybe it's just me maybe it's just me and then it is almost like should i speak to that person or talk to that person and allow that open communication for that to like to, to see what's going on and then it's almost like no 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 i shouldn't and then it's almost like like a rupture then you know what i mean or even just like someone not authentically communicating with you properly and then you're like why like, like there's this feeling like why aren't you just telling me how you feel why are you doing this because this isn't gonna get anything done if you have like an issue here if you you feel something you need to come to me and say it i'm not gonna be angry like we can talk about it like if you keep doing this i'm not gonna just sit around and listen and, and really look for those social cues you really need to say that to me otherwise you know how am i to know so it's like really setting in those boundaries as well if you've got an issue you need to say this to me and even the other way around you know what i mean if you feel like somebody's done something that you don't like there's almost this feeling like i shouldn't say it i shouldn't express that who am i to express that you have every right to express if someone's done something that you don't like so it's the other way around as well and being called to mention as well and um, so that's probably your final card Pile number three, messages from Rihanna on for my pile number threes. We have the wild rose. 
we have the wild rose do it your way embrace your uniqueness <laughs> and him yeah do it your way i think you're natural leaders and i think you're naturally here to activate and you're naturally here to hold space for your own uniqueness and what you want to do you're here to do that um you don't need a cheerleader for that you know you'll have a lot of them i'm one of them power three um but you don't need them you know what i mean like you don't need anyone else's opinion for what you're wearing or what you're doing because sometimes people not, might not be given the best ones um or the ones that really align with you so be that light for you first you're wearing that because you want to wear it you know you're doing that job because you want to do that job you want to go on holiday because you want to go on holiday that's your thing you know it, it's because you want to um so that's coming through and of course we have the anointed anointed answer the call leadership <laughs> empowerment and soul gifts i think that you have an ability to help empower others but you have to empower yourself first um and that's why you're being really called to whatever this is even if it's just you finally embracing your own voice and your own needs um i just think it's really beautiful and that's a strong message coming through from rihanna for you guys to really align with that and honor these parts of you because they deserve to be heard seen felt you deserve to take up space and have a light on you you deserve to so pile number three that is what i have for you guys i'll have the link to the song in the description box i'll write pile number three song and i'll add the link um and also i will have the links to uh la, 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 um what else am I having links to? Oh, yeah. I'll have the links to Goddess Rhiannon's story if you want to read that and, and get into that. I've said to the other two piles, I would recommend just listening to a story. I think it's a really empowering, beautiful story. But um, if you don't want to, that's fine. Um, thank you guys for watching anyway. If you enjoyed, the thumbs up, comment them down below. And yeah, I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.